Hi, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here for your next PB&J card class. And today I am super honored to be a guest designer for Virginia's View Challenge. And this challenge is all about distressing. It's her number 10 challenge and it's all things distressed. And this is the lovely inspiration photo collage that I'll be using for my inspiration. I'm using Penny Black stamps, warm wishes, and also footnotes. And here's a look at the card that we'll be creating today. I had an awesome time just getting really crazy with the distressing around the edges after I colored my image. So to begin, I'm starting with a white Inchy Arts 4x4 four four inch art square. And I'm going to be stamping this image. This is again called Warm Wishes by Penny Black. And I'm going to stamp this right onto the art square. And I'm going to be doing some watercoloring. So I'm going to ink this with Ranger Archival Ink in the color of Jet Black. And this ink will be permanent so there won't be any bleeding when I add the layers of water. So I just want to be sure to completely ink my stamp and then I'll just press it right here onto the center of my art square. And it's a pretty big stamp so I just want to be sure to apply pretty even pressure. And there we go. We're ready to begin coloring. I'm going to color using Ranger Distress ink markers. And I'm just using a large acrylic block as a palette and I put a white piece of paper underneath so I can see the colors as I apply them to the palette. And I'm going to color onto the palette. The first color here is pumice stone. Just laying down my color that I'm going to use. I've got a paintbrush and then just some water and I'm going to paint it onto my image. Adding water to blend and lighten the colors. I'll zoom in here a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just applying that color and then I'll go back and blend it with just clean water. So if I have a hard edge that I feel like I um, need some blending, I go back with just water and apply that. Now the art squares are a thick matte board square and the surface acts like watercolor paper but it's very smooth so it's easy to get a nice stamped image on there and it's great for watercoloring. Also going to be using those for a really special technique here at the end um, when we really get into the distressing. So I'm just going to continue to color onto my palette, pick up the color with my paintbrush, and apply it to my images. So we'll just add some Christmas music here and you can watch me color. Bye. 
All right, now we're ready to begin adding a lot of our distressing. So I'm going to color here on my acrylic block. I'm going to spritz that with water, and I'm just going to press my art square into the puddles of ink and add this kind of vintagey, very uneven distressed background. Then I'm also here going to take a darker color, the walnut stain, and I'm going to add some water to that and flick that onto the background. Now because the art square is still wet, these splatters are going to kind of fade into the background. They won't be super crisp, which was the look that I'm going for. I'm going to dry this before going on to my next step. And for the next step, I'm going to add some inks directly to the background using an ink blending tool and a foam pad. So I'm starting here with Ranger Archival Ink in the color of Dandelion. Now I've chosen these inks because I really like the color, um, but you could use your Distress inks or whatever kind of inks that you prefer. I just really like the warmth of these colors. Just applying those around the outer edge. I'll also use the color Tree Branch. and a little bit darker color called Potting Soil. And this one I won't go in quite as far. Also add a little bit of this one along the bottom. Now I'm going to take just water and I'm going to heavily spritz the art square. Now these art squares are made to withstand tons and tons of media, um, of weedy, media whether it's wet or dry, but lots and lots. So it takes a lot of water to get them to do this, but you can peel up the layers and really add a distressed look. So I did this all around the edges of the art square. And what's awesome is that even when you add all that water to the art square, it doesn't warp at all. It's still completely flat when I add it to my card. So here I'm just adding some additional distressing around the outer edge, and I use the darker ink, the potting soil. And another thing I like to do to add even more distressing is to add some subtle text stamping in the background. And one of my favorite stamps for this is this Penny Black transparent set called Footnotes. I'm inking it with the potting soil ink. I'm removing some of the ink with the baby wipe before I stamp it, just so it gives a random background. And I'm focusing mainly on just going around the outer edges, not across the middle or across the critters themselves. So just continue to do that all the way around the card. And then to create my background, I just colored under watercolor paper with the Broken China Distress Marker, blended it with water, and once it was dry, I added ink around the edges, mounted it to a note card, added some twine, and then I mounted my art square using dimensional adhesive. And you can see there over on the right-hand side some close-ups of the distressing that are able to do using the art square. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, I'll hope you hit that little like button, give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. We're so excited and I'm so honored to be a part of Virginia's View as a guest designer that we have a special giveaway. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave us a comment below that you're a new subscriber, you have a chance to win a $25 gift card to the Penny Black store. And also, if you like the Penny Black Facebook page and leave a comment that you came from Virginia's View Challenge, make sure you like the page up at the top. Then you'll have another chance to win a $25 gift card. All of the ways to connect with Penny Black, the Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and our website will be linked in the description box below. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video here, I'll have a list of all the supplies to use, including the stamp names and numbers and all the colors for the inking and the watercoloring. Thanks again, Virginia, for this opportunity to be a part of your wonderful challenge.